what is up guys Zan from the Zan Madden YouTube channel in today's video we're in the Oakland Raiders playbook and we're going to show you how to bomb cover two out of the Trey Y flex but before we do that guys please take a quick second hit that subscribe button also make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the uploads I've got coming your way here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel if you guys want to watch me play Madden 20 live check me out on the Twitch platform twitch.tv slash ozano the link is in the description and I do have exclusive sub only content for my Twitch subscribers whether you're a tier one or an Amazon Prime subscriber. Okay, guys, without further ado, let's get into today's video. Trey Y Flex, the play we're gonna be looking at is PA Crossers. This is a cover two bomb that you guys can run. I know a lot of you guys like the Oakland Raiders playbook. A lot of players do struggle to throw out of the Oakland Raiders playbook. Once the run game has been shut down, the offensive playbook has become synonymous with the name Oakland Tour because people like to run all the different runs in the playbook. But when you actually shut down the run, they kind of struggle to throw. So. I want to show you guys here obviously the trey y flex is a very popular formation you guys have seen the play dagger a lot this year very very good play with that deep backside dig route the crossing route um, a lot of players used it around the time from the draft champions mcs event i want to show you guys a cover two bomb out of the play pa crossers now i'm going to show you guys a variation of this with uh the hot route master and i'm also going to show you a rendition of this uh that would just involve regular hot route so Obviously, you guys know that I am running the Washington Redskins book right now, and I'm running a Hot Route Master offense. So uh, for the time being, those that are really following me and doing the Hot Route Master thing, I want to make sure that I have kind of an option for you guys, as well as an option for those that are going without uh, Hot Route Master. Uh, so what we're going to do here is I'll call uh, Nickel Normal Cover 2. Uh, and what you're going to want is the receivers to the wide side of the field. Most players who do run the Trey Y Flex will run the receivers to the wide side of the field. Uh, because they want to be able to set up the crossing routes from the play dagger, uh, the backside dig route to the X receiver on dagger uh, to hold the user responsible in the middle of the field. Now, when the user is responsible in the middle of the field, that's going to open up the PA crossers play. And specifically, the route we're going to be throwing is the deep skinny post to Philip Dorsett the second. So uh, let's first start off with uh, a generic setup. Um, this is very, very simple. All you need to do to open this up is really have one of the two slot receivers on the trip side run a slant. Uh, so we'll go ahead and show you here. I'm just going to put 14 Muhammad Sanu Sr. on a slant. Uh, really doesn't matter what you do with the tight end. Um, for Just for the sake of this, I'll even just motion him back inside and block him. Uh, just to show you, this is really a two route combination that triggers the actual bomb to the uh, to the X receiver. Now, as far as the rest goes, I mean, you can do whatever you want. You can do a little baby motion out route, Ohio concept where you have a vertical route on the outside and a slot receiver on an out route. Ohio is always nice as well. So um, obviously we've already used our motion here uh, with Watson to motion him in to block, but you could motion snap Edelman to the inside of step. Uh, but what you're gonna see here, provided you get the time in the pocket here is that slant is really gonna widen out that safety, allowing you to throw this post in between and rack it for the one play score. So um, it is the slant route that causes the width of the safety on the short side of the field to uh, kind of widen out towards that sideline and play a little bit low. Um, you guys know I'm a big fan of cover two bombs this year. Uh, you'll see right here as we run this slant, watch how this safety back here, 21 response to the presence of the slant. So you see how he's basically playing near the red line. He's kind of playing a little bit low and that's going to allow us to get that bomb over the top of him for this score. So you're just, you know, widening him out and bringing him down a little bit closer to the really the only threat uh, that is down on that right side. If you keep everything low, he should be pretty, pretty well taken care of. So you see right here in this example, I might go with a slant to Edelman. Maybe we go with an out route or a, you know, a flat route to Sanu. It uh, really doesn't matter. Um, again, we could motion Watson back inside. Maybe you switch it up and do something like this this time. And again, watch how that safety as Edelman runs the slant across the field is going to widen down. Uh, you see how he widens? And that's going to allow us to bomb over the top. Um, so obviously the pass rush got home there, uh, but uh, you did see how that worked. So uh, we'll go ahead and do this again here. If I were to, you know, really doesn't matter what Watson's on. I could put him on a curl even. Uh, doesn't really matter. And... Once that slant Edelman, he got pressed a little bit, gets over there, knows how that safety widens out. That's going to allow us to throw that bomb. Now, right there, Edelman got pressed way too long. Uh, you do want that slant to get a free release because it does disrupt the timing of the throw. You'll notice right here that Edelman did uh, take a little bit to get off the jam. That's why I mentioned you guys could go ahead and use motion of Edelman. You see right here, he got bumped to the outside. That kind of disrupted the flow of this play. You saw that the safety responded to the presence of the slant, but you want him to go down sooner rather than later in the play uh, because right there, it allowed him time to recover and, and make that play. So uh, now in this example, I'll just go ahead and maybe I'll do something like uh, out route to B, 
curl to Watson, maybe just put Edelman on a slant, uh, maybe give him a little free release motion, snap him. This will get him over to the right side and get that safety to pull down. You see how that safety is going to bite down. And then you could just bomb this throw over the top of his head. Uh, pretty easy right there. Um, now, obviously, the width of the route kind of matters. Um, I think that the B route on the slant kind of gets there sooner, gets the attention of that guy a little bit better. Uh, you could kind of run like a little bit of a mesh concept here, if you will. Uh, maybe put Edelman on a curl route and motion snap him to the inside here. Just kind of give you a thread of a, a curl and a little drag concept underneath. You see the curls open. See how that X route gets open better when the B is on the slant. So uh, you got a couple options available. It's kind of an ad lib play. You definitely want a slant route going to the short side of the field, though, to open that up. So that is your generic hot route variation. Now, when it comes to actually using the hot route master, you guys know I'm a big time fan of the fade stop route. So what I'll do with this particular play is I'll put Watson on a flat and then I'll motion one of the two receivers over across the formation. Uh, I'll go ahead and put Sanu on a hitch right here uh, and I'll motion Edelman across. And then what I'm gonna do with Edelman is I'm gonna put him on a fade stop route afforded to you by the hot route master and then I'm gonna smart route it. And as we've talked about before here on the channel, what it does is it, it runs a 20 yard route. So he's gonna get behind the cloud flat, stay in front of the deep zone. And you're gonna see here, I can make that throw right there on the sideline. But what it also does is it also makes it so that the post route on the wide side of the field breaks over the top for the score as well. So when we actually look at this here, watch how Edelman runs the fade stop, sits down nicely. This safety right here is going to bite down on it. You see how this post is going to get open over the top. We'll go ahead and throw that post this time here, running that exact same uh, play. So uh, here's kind of the setup we're going to use right here. And what you're going to see is Dorsett is going to really, really bomb over the top here, provided we get enough time. So you see right here, look how open the middle of the field is between the cover two safeties here. So very, very simple throw. Uh, this is going to get you the cover two one play bomb. Now, obviously, if they decide to put their middle linebacker, um, if they were to take one of the middle linebackers here and put them in a deep zone, that is where, in my opinion, if you have a receiver on the outside with ha that has matchup nightmare, that's where you're going to start to get aggressive catches in the middle of the field. So if you're thinking about how to use abilities to make this tip even better, that's where you want to have your mindset at is to kind of think about using a matchup nightmare as more than just an ability that is going to, um, you know, ag hike throw ag over the middle. You know, it's not necessarily one of those things that you have to that you have to run it that way. Obviously, another another way that you could probably uh, make this successful is maybe start to use some uh, corner routes from the hot route master to Edelman just to pull Micah Hyde away from Dorset as well. So you see how the, the presence of the corner route should pull that safety a little bit further outside, makes this bomb even more viable. You see at that time he's open by a couple more yards. So the hot route master allows you to really manipulate zones a little bit differently. Um, that's why I prefer it. But then again, a lot of players are not comfortable with pocket passers. So I totally understand why, but that is PA crossers guy. Uh, guys in the Oakland Raiders playbook. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys are enjoying the content, please, please make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If there's any questions, drop them in the comments below, and we'll see you guys tomorrow with our next upload. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.